Do I look at you or do I look at the camera? Whatever. You can look at me, you can look at camera, and just tell me, like, who you, who are you? Uh, my name is Calvin Santiago, I'm from the class of 2018. Hi, my name is Ashna Asin, and I'm a first-year medical student. Hi, Dr. Duffin. My name is Kate Rath Wilson. I am a second year, so 2019. I'm in the class of Meds 2018. Meds 2017. The QMed class of 2016. The QMed class of 2014. History Medicine class of 2009. History Medicine class of 2010. And this is Hudson. We are hoping History of Medicine class of 2036. The class of 2003. Meds 2001. From Queens Meds class 2000. Queens Meds 96 graduate. Uh, Meds 95. QMed class of 2020. And Harry, what's your favorite Dr. Duffin moment? Uh, my favorite Dr. Duffin moment... Um, Probably my favorite moment is the moment she unveils the Vesalius here in class. From the Rare Books Library, the old anatomy text, and talked about your struggles to uh, maintain that right to be able to check out those books and bring them to the students. Do you have a favorite Dr. Duffin moment? There are too many to count. When you uh, read us the historical version of the Hippocratic Oath. Those uh, Hippocratic Oaths were some of the most memorable uh, moments of medical school. My favorite memory with Dr. Duffin would have to be creating this QMR History of Medicine edition. When you happened upon this kid in the basement of Bottle Hall admiring his dad's Queen's Medicine Composite of 1986. I have lots of good memories, including walking across the park with my cat Tabby on a leash to visit Dr. Duffin in her office. We had a class survey on who was most likely to do X or most likely to become Y. The one I got was the most likely to be the next Jackie Duffin. From the first days that she welcomed us on our walking history tour uh, to... My last year uh, trip to Philadelphia, uh, we'd actually hatched a plan to uh, steal back the brain of Osler and repatriate it to Canada and we uh, uh, chickened out at the last second. In September 1968, I met Jackie Duffin while in line to register for pre-medicine at University of Toronto. That's 49 years of friendship. I remember when Jackie turned 21, we rented one of those two-seat vans and we packed it full of those about 10 people without seats and we drove to Stratford and we had a wonderful time. In medical school, I had the honor of playing Dr. Duffin in the 2011 MVN class kit. The one story I'll share from medical school is during an exam, after I'd, I'd failed one term, she offered to let me stay at her home while I, I studied and... She can make you feel so special uh, in a way that only Dr. Duffin can. But she still takes the time to get to know every student. It's hard for me to come up with words for what Dr. Duffin means to me. I think there's something magical about her. Very unique. I've never had a teacher like this before. One of our star researchers and such a friend and supporter. She's not only a wonderful teacher and mentor, she's also a wonderful matchmaker. She's like a once in a lifetime teacher. Though small in stature, she remains a giant amongst her students. And look who's that over my right shoulder, always there, Jackie Duffin. When you go to a Jackie Duffin lecture, it's not just another boring lecture. Whenever I run into Queen's grads around the country, we always reminisce about how great your lectures were. You never forget a Jackie Duffin lecture, and you never miss a Jackie Duffin lecture. Captivating and enthralling us with each lecture that she gave to our class. Uh, although I'm not a medical student, I am a student of Dr. Duffin's, because in the 10 years that I've known her, I've learned many, many lessons from her. One of the memorable things that I've learned from her is to be really humble about what we think we know, uh, because medicine's changing all the time. Always just be critical of like where an idea came from. I know for like example, many things that we do in medicine is not necessarily because of the evidence or the science. You made us question and think about a lot of the things that we took for granted in medicine. And what we learned from Dr. Duffin is that CE can actually be a lot of fun. <laughs> I've learned that um, I don't have to keep my uh, celebration of the humanities hidden in a closet. I was inspired by her to take up history for the first time ever. 
Thank you, Dr. Duffin, so much for being a supporter and champion for Humanities and Medicine. There's really not a week that goes by that I don't reflect on what you taught us about putting how we practice medicine in the context of history. Always considering the historical perspective to it all. Always be compassionate, always be curious, and to never forget to vote. And you probably don't notice that or don't even think about it, but you have touched a lot of lives, a lot of students, hundreds and thousands of students who graduated and have gone. I'm one of those students. And so for all that you've done, Dr. Duffin, thank you. From the entire archive staff, and I believe I can speak for all of them, I just want to wish um, Dr. Jackie Duffin all the very best. I wish you all the best in your retirement. So thank you, Dr. Duffin. Jackie. Never stop being you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Duffin! Best wishes for the next chapter. Thank you very much, Dr. Duffin, for letting me sit in on so many of your lectures. So thank you, Dr. Duffin. Uh, congratulations on a truly remarkable career. I love you and wish you all the best in retirement. All the best. All the best. We love you, Dr.